Hey baby, 50 years old. We have spent 32 years of them together and four kids. So happy 50th and now we get to be empty nesters together. Love you. Happy 50th birthday to you. Happy 50th birthday to you. Happy 50th birthday, dear Jill. Happy 50th birthday to you. And we still love you, even though you are 50. Dear Jill, I wish you a happy birthday. You're the second best Jill Sams that I know. You enjoy yourself and you have a special day. I wish I could be there with you. Goodbye. Hey mama, just wanted to uh, wish you a happy 50th, 30th birthday. Oof. And um, just wanna let you know I'm proud of you for uh, making it this long, putting up with me. And um, I look up to your running abilities and you're still able to run more than me who is a college athlete. So props to you, love you, happy 30th. Jill, I heard it's your birthday. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, joke for you. Why did the birthday cake go to see a therapist? Because he was feeling crummy. <laughs> Happy birthday. Have a good day. Going. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Let's do it again. Ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday! We know what you're not doing today. Causing a ruckus here. Because you hate me. I bet you're running though, so we forgive you. But we just wanted to wish you the happiest of birthdays. We love you. We love you so much. And I hope that you get everything you've ever wanted and more. Mwah. Mwah. Happy birthday, Jill! Hi, I just want to say a quick happy birthday. I hope you have the most amazing day ever. And I just want to say thank you for everything that you do for me. And I love you so much. And I just hope you have the best day. Give me an H, give me an A, give me a P, P, Y. Give me a B, give me an I, give me an R, T, H. Give me a D, give me an A, give me a great big Y. Happy, Happy birthday, Jill. <laughs> Happy birthday, Aunt Jill. We love you. We miss you. Bye. Bye. Happy birthday, Jill. Hope you have a great day, sweetheart. 50's not too bad. It's when you get to 80 that it hurts the most. I just want to tell you how much I love you and show you a little bit of my beautiful garden that I'm working in. Takes me at least five minutes to water the flowers. I also want to tell you how much I love you and how much I have enjoyed the beautiful family that you and Michael provided for me. I love my grandchildren. I love you and have a beautiful day. As you can see, I'm not very good at this. Love you, baby. Have a big day. Happy 50th birthday, Mom. You're old. Jill, this is your brother, Steve. Do I need to speak louder or slow down? You are 60. Okay, Jill, I just want to give you a little quick tip on the walker. There's two kinds of people with this walker. There's the ones that are real educated and they're really athletic. They're called the athletic walkers. And what they do is they pick the tail up and they go like that, okay? That means they're in good shape. But you're more like a scooter. So what you'll do is you'll put your hands here and you'll scoot a little bit, scoot a little bit. You're a pooter and a scooter too. 
so you'll just scoop a little bit. Can't believe you're 60. How embarrassing, you're making me look old. Okay, now the second thing I wanted to train you on is the wheelchair, because after you do, the, in about a year you'll be on this, and about two years you'll be on the wheelchair. Okay, the key to the wheelchair is get someone you trust to push you, i.e. Blake. Blake would be a perfect one. Blake, get her back for all them times she's harassed you. But you gotta sit down properly and you gotta put your feet up on the wheelchair, okay? When somebody pushing you, put your feet up. Then you're gonna have to learn to use your arms for the, the sides. So I just wanted to give you a little education on a wheelchair and a walker. Lord help me, you're making me look bad. I'm embarrassed to say you're my sister. This is Steve. Steve, your brother, in case you forgot already. I just wanted to help you out with the wheelchair situation. I will give you more uh, info as needed. Happy 50th birthday, Jill number two. We know this birthday doesn't look like you thought it would, but we just wanted to let you know we're thinking about you and we hope you have a great day. In fact, remember last week, we were talking about you turning 50 and we couldn't believe it because- She's really 50? Yes. And we hope we look as good as you when we're 50. Oh, we will. Okay, happy birthday. See ya. Happy birthday, mom. I hope you have an amazing day and I'm so lucky to have you as a mom. You're the big 5-0. Say happy birthday. Woo! Hey, Jill. Happy birthday. Hope you have a great day. Hello, how are you? Oh, I have been waiting for you. Yes, waiting for you. And I want to welcome you and congratulate you to the Half a Century Club. That's right, Half a Century. 50, five zero. 50, 50, half a century years Oh, 50, wow, not 40, not 45, 50. Can you believe 50, a half of a century. That is absolutely incredible, crazy, welcome. It is just absolutely fantastic being a part of that club. <laughs> and I just really want to wish you absolutely the best birthday with your family. It's going to be all right. It's gonna be all right. You'll make it. Take care. Happy 50th birthday, Aunt Jill. I hope you have a really good birthday. Miss you. Happy birthday, Jill. Hope you have the best day ever. Definitely deserve it. Hopefully you get a good run in and then maybe get to do some shopping. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Happy birthday, Aunt Jill. You're live from my quarantine dome here. Uh, coronavirus or not, yes, I do have it. Does not stop me wishing you happy birthday. I feel great. Hope you're the big 5-0. Can't believe it's already 50. Doesn't feel like it. I feel like you guys are all still in your 30s. All you and the aunts. Um, so I hope you have a great birthday. Hope to get up there soon to Tennessee. If not, I'll see y'all at Thanksgiving. Mass on or not, I'll be better. Have a great birthday, much love. Hey Jill, it's your 60th birthday, so I figured you might need to get reacquainted with this GNC place. I know you're gonna need a lot of vitamins and nutrients because when you're 60, you gotta replenish all that stuff, so. Also, I'm still sorry about your electrical box. 